Ha Long Bay, one of Vietnam's precious jewels of the north and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ha Long Bay is known for its stunningly beautiful backdrop sprinkled with thousands of sky-high limestone islets. Welcome to Vietnam. On our way from Hanoi to Ha Long Bay, it takes about three and a half hours. We have a private driver taking us from Hanoi International Airport all the way to Ha Long Bay. One of the best ways to see the islets is by booking a cruise. There are a few different options in terms of cruise duration, and many people opt for the overnight cruises. The one we booked was just for the day because we wanted to save some time to go hiking the next day. The first place we stopped was Sung Sut Cave. This is the largest cave in Ha Long Bay. It is hot, it is humid, it is wonderful. So we are at Sung Sut Caves with the masses. Sung Sut actually is, it translates to super awesome, wonderful greatness. Actually, I don't know if that's really what it translates to, but this is the view. And we're about to go inside caves with everybody. We go into the cave. Super spooky. Be careful, guy. Among thousands of limestone islets are 59 caves that have been discovered. Sung Sut, located on Bo Han Island, is the most famous of them all. I feel like this is the stuff that theme parks try to imitate. I could easily see this being at Disneyland or something. <laughs> but this is the real deal. It's really not possible to capture just how vast this area is. Another main stop on the cruise is Tea Top Island. There's a beach you can visit if you don't mind the crowd, and there's also a hike with a great view of Ha Long Bay. Since we only had time to do one, we chose the hike. There's about 400 steps. The view is going to be completely worth every step. This is the top of T-Top Mountain. The entire hike only took us about like 15 minutes. 
Not bad at all, it's just really hot and humid. Bring water, make sure you do that. After spending nine hours on the bay, expect to be wiped and definitely don't plan to do anything else for the rest of the day. Good morning. It is five something in the morning. We woke up around 4.30 to try and catch the sunrise at Mount Poem. Now Mount Poem is a secret entrance to one of the best views in all of Halong. But the tricky part about this hike is the entrance is through this lady's house. And if you look her up online, she's just called the lady. So we uh, have to have apparently a hundred thousand dong for entry through her property so that we can get to the top of this mountain. But apparently there's a bunch of fences we're supposed to climb and it's really rocky and we're ready for pretty much anything now. I will say that it did feel very strange accessing a hike through someone's house at five o'clock in the morning, but the lady was awake and ready to take our money. How much? Money? money? Yeah. How much? Be so pretty. Not bad. We can go. Ready? Super intense. Okay. Through the bushes. He says, don't fall down that hole. Watch your step. So helpful. Although the hike was pretty intense, the view made it all completely worth it. This is definitely an advanced hike and not for the inexperienced hiker. If you are planning on attempting this hike, please exercise caution and don't forget to bring lots of water. So right here is where we came from and this is the blue door that you go into. It might not always be blue, but it's to the right of photocopy and left of Sea Store. I know Sea Store used to be called something different before, but this is what it looks like and there's doggies there. Give me a time and wait. 